Hi guys, here's a little project I've been meaning to have a go at for quite a while. I spotted these plans mentioned in somebody's video on YouTube, so I went to the link and downloaded them. It's just a little rubber band powered plane for flying indoors. It says high aspect ratio foam 200 to northern area rules. That doesn't actually mean anything to me, but that's what it says. You make it from foam, uh, sheets of foam, but I'm going to try and make it from foam plates. I don't have any balsa wood to make the body work with, so I expect we're going to use, um, I don't know, Probably a barbecue skewer. So it's not going to be perfect. We'll just have to see what we can do. It's quite small. The central cord is 60 millimeters. The wings are asymmetric. One is 80 millimeters and the other is 70 millimeters. And then you've got wing tips as well. That's so that it always flies round in a circle, I assume. Uh, there's no details on here on the propeller. It says butterfly prop, but that means nothing to me either, so we'll have to make one out of something or other. And the fuselage should be balsa wood, I think. So we're going to have to use barbecue skewer or something like that. So I'll cut the centres out and use the reasonably flat bits in the middle. the first problem. This ruler's in inches. I'll have to go and get the one that's in centimetres. Right, centimetres. So, 70 and 80, 150. We might just get that. Right, not quite sure what I'm going to use for glue. I've got a little bit of Gorilla Glue left, so we might try that. I've put some sticky tape down on my workboard here, so that 
if the glue runs through, which it will do, it will stick to the sticky tape, not to my bench. And then I can peel the sticky tape up and get it off. And that's uh, decorator's masking tape I'm using there. It's got to go on there. With a 30 millimeter dihedral, I suppose you could call it. Moistening it because the Gorilla Glue needs moisture to actually cure. Right, leave that to dry. Tail plane. This is very exact, 57.5 millimetres on each side. So 57 and 57, 100 and 14, 115 all together. Gonna have to make this up now myself. We'll leave that for a minute and come back later. I'm making this up as I go along at the moment. That's just an ordinary pin going through the middle of a toothpick. A couple of tiny glass beads. I've squashed the end of the pin flat. And I'm going to put some epoxy glue on there to try and hold it all together. And then I shall cut some propeller blades and glue them onto there. That's sealed it in a little bit of two-pack epoxy. That's the stuff. Slight change of plan for the fuselage. I've just found I've got this plywood left over from some of those um, dinosaur kits. So I'm going to see if I can cut that to be the right sort of shape. That's my plywood fuselage now. It's going to be much, much heavier than it should be. Cotton bud for the propeller bearing. a close-up of my propeller bearing assembly. So wrap some cotton around it and glue it onto here. Put 
Gorilla Glue on the wood and dampened the blades. Now I'm going to stand it over here. and adjust the pitch by eye. It's not going to be a very efficient propeller. It'll just be interesting to see if it works. Another problem I've got is we need to make this curved center rib out of light 1 16th balsa. Well, as I say, I haven't got any balsa. So I've heated up a, or steamed, a coffee stirrer here and left it wrapped around this roll of tape so that when it cools down we should have a curve on it. And then I'll use that for my 1 16th balsa. Again, it's going to be much too heavy. I'll sand it down a little bit. And then we have to glue it to two short sticks. Now, I'm looking at this. It looks like the front is glued to the fuselage and the back goes into a paper tube that allows you to raise it and lower it to adjust the angle of attack of the wing. I think I'll probably be using toothpicks for these.
That's a bent pin I've used there to hold the rubber band. Now I'll glue the paper tube just here. Just a bit of paper I wrapped around a toothpick and put some glue on it. I'm using Gorilla Glue again to stick the horizontal stabiliser, or tail as I'd call it, onto the fuselage. I've no idea whether that's going to stay horizontal because as the glue cures it expands and there's every chance that may tilt. I guess we'll find out. You can just see there I've glued the paper tube in place using wood glue and then my bent pin under there for the rubber band that's wood glue on top of there. I'm just hoping that that'll stop it flicking round. Coming together I get very frustrated waiting for things to dry. That's why I like hot glue, because it's quick. Getting close Bit of glue on there to hold the front in and a bit of glue under there for the fin. Right, we'll leave that to dry. All up together, I've added a fair bit of blue tack to the front there to try and get the centre of gravity forwards. Just a single cheap rubber band. So we'll go and see if it flies. It's not designed for outdoor use, but we'll give it a try because it's got a bit more space to fly around out there. I've had to add quite a bit of weight to the front to get the centre of gravity forwards, so that's not good because that's obviously adding weight. But we'll give it a try anyway. I've got about 90 turns on there at the moment.
Well, I'm going to have to go and knock on the neighbour's door. Well, I managed to get it back, but I think we'll give it a rest today. It flies. It's not going to fly around inside the house, it's just um, too heavy so it's flying too fast. But it works, so we'll count it as a success.